latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Dia Wall with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for Thursday, January 14th. The family of an Alexa girl who was allegedly stalked by her fourth grade teacher is one step closer to changing a state statute. As 41 Action News previously reported, former Meadow Lane teacher James Loganville is accused of reckless stalking. That's a misdemeanor in Kansas. That means it's only punishable by up to a year in prison. The girl's family wants that change to make stalking a child under the age of 16 a felony. Well, on Thursday, that bill was introduced on the Kansas House floor. And so really what we're doing is we're creating higher penalties within that existing law to bring the existing law to felony status if um, individuals choose to prey on children 16 and younger. Next week, both the alleged victim and her mother are set to testify in front of the House Judiciary Committee. So far, they say they have bipartisan support and they hope it'll pass and go on to the Senate for quick approval. With winter weather hitting the metro Friday morning, Kansas City's Parks Department opened up its emergency shelter. If you see anyone who needs a warm place, let them know. The Garrison Community Center is open. That's on East 5th Street near Troost. Wes Perry has our forecast now. A few inches of snowfall are possible, especially near north and east of Kansas City, a dusting to three inches. For Kansas City in the immediate metro, it's looking more like a dusting to two inches of snow. It'll be a blowing snow at that. Wind gusts up to 25 to 45 miles per hour possible throughout the day on Friday, leading to, of course, slick roads and overpasses, especially in the morning. We're underneath the winter weather advisory here in Kansas City from 3 a.m. to 6 p.m. The seven day forecast has nicer weather as we head into the weekend. The Chiefs game a little breezy, some clouds, temperatures near about 40. You can get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.